Learning target 8.5 says that I can use Dalton's Law to solve problems, and this is the same Dalton that we talked about with atomic theory. So Dalton's Law of Partial Pressures tells us that the total pressure of a mixture of gases is the sum of the pressure of the individual gases. So the formula looks like this. P dot is your total pressure. P1 is the pressure of one gas, another gas, pressure of the third gas, and so on and so forth. So you add these all up together. So if we have a mixture of helium that has a pressure of 15 kilopascals, and oxygen that has a pressure of 15 kilopascals, we simply add those together and you get a total pressure of the mixture to be 30 kilopascals. So this is an example that you have on your sheet that you got in class, so cut this out, put it in your notebook and solve it. So a mixture of neon and argon gases is going to exert a total pressure of 2.39 atmospheres. The partial pressure of the neon alone is 1.84 atm. What is the partial pressure of the argon? So what do we know? We know that the total pressure is 2.39 atm. We know that the pressure of the neon is 1.84 atm. We know that our formula should look like this. The total pressure is equal to the pressure of neon plus the pressure of argon. So if we rearrange our formula, we get a pressure for argon of 0.55 atm. And that is really all there is to it. Um, you may have to do a pressure conversion if your conversion, if your units are not in the same unit, like you have atms and kilopascals. But that would be the most complicated you would have to do. 8.6, I can state Avogadro's law in my own words and use it to convert between moles and volume. So Avogadro, this is our same old Avogadro with moles, all right? He's going to give us the relationship between volume and moles. Now we use the um, variable N to represent moles. Gases that have equal volumes are going to contain an equal number of particles. So in this picture here, we have argon, we have oxygen, we have nitrogen. Notice that they all have the same volume, 22.4 liters. They're all one mole. They're all one atm. And they're all 273 kelvin. Now notice that their masses are different. These are their molar masses from the periodic table. So remember that the molar mass is going to be different depending on the compound itself. Excuse me. But what this tells us is that the volume of one mole at STP, because 1 atm and 273 kelvin is standard temperature and pressure, one mole has a volume of 22.4 liters, and that's what Avogadro's Law tells us. So on your mole box, the pink box that we did in class, you had this at the bottom, 22.4 liters. So you might see a problem like this. What is the volume of 0.32 moles of nitrogen at STP, standard temperature and pressure? So this is our conversion factor right here, one mole over 22.4 liters. We set up our proportion the same way we did all of our other mole conversions. Um, 0.32 moles is what we're looking for, or is our given. We put that over X, we cross multiply, and we get 7.168 liters.